Hello! My hair is just a little too dirty to be doing this video, but you know what? I didn't have time to wash it today. We're just gonna roll with it. I am going to attempt to do some hairstyles with my hand tied extensions in that I found on Pinterest. I have this whole board of Pinterest hairstyles that I like absolutely love. So I'm going to do them today in this video and we'll see how they turn out and see if it's possible to do them with hand tides. I actually have a hair appointment on Monday. Today I'm gonna be using the Arctic Fox, oh how well does this match? The Arctic Fox Road Trip Dry Shampoo. This is what it looks like. This is the one that is not volumizing. It is just a puff. I just literally puffed that everywhere my hair wasn't. <laughs> good job. This smells so good. So you gotta shake it between pumps and I, I already have just so much product in my hair since I haven't washed it for a little bit that I didn't wanna add more volumizing right now. I think I will in a little bit, but right now I just wanna soak up some more oil. So between pumps, you need to shake it up. And this has like a hundred uses in it. So don't be concerned by the size of the package, okay? Cause there's a lot of product in here. I got this giant thing of the tiny little clear see-through little ties. I was convinced that these were gonna rip my hair out because I, they're very cheap and I bought them on Amazon. These actually work really great and don't pull much of, much of my hair out. So I'm gonna be using those today. Let me pull up our first hairstyle. This is the one I'm going to try right now. So I don't know if this is gonna work because, so let me see how many rows of hand tides I have. Okay, so I have a couple things going on. I have two rows of hand tides, and then I also have very small sandwich pieces of um, tape-in extensions. And these are just so I can have a little bit of extra volume around my face because I cannot get these guys to grow to the length of the rest of my hair. I can't tell what the other side of her hair looks like, but it kind of looks like she has parted it on the side and uh, these are right here. So I have to keep an eye out for those. This is an awesome comb. I love this for when I do my curls and I don't wanna like frizz them out, but I want to like loosen them up right after I've just done it and they're still warm or throughout the day when I just want to like get a little bit of like my curls separated. Okay, so I'm gonna do this kind of back like that. It looks like she like left some hairs out. I have very short ones here, so I'll do like that one and then maybe like that one and try and like leave those out like that. It looks like she has grabbed the hair like halfway up, like halfway down her head forward. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna kind of push this out of the way. So we're gonna start over here. This kind of braid that sits on top, basically it goes under instead of over. So it goes under like that. So normally where you do over, you go under. And when you go under right there, that's when you take a little bit more and you add it and then you go under. It almost looks like she is only grabbing hair from the front because I'm not seeing any of this. I'm gonna scrap that. So. I'm only gonna grab from this side. Let's start again. We'll start there. We'll get a few of these under our belt before we start pulling hair. And I'm not pulling it too tight. But also somewhat tight because we're gonna pull it out after. And you wanna keep an eye like where, so hers is like a little bit further back. So you have to like shape it like that when you're doing this and decide where you want it to go. And that's kind of where you pull the hair from and how tight you pull it, if that makes sense. Dude, my little tiny baby braid compared to her braid, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and then she also has the braid all the way down, which I cannot do because none of this hair in the front is very long. I'm glad this is like, a, I'm gonna grab some, of, this is one of my hand tight extensions right here. I'm gonna grab that. I probably shouldn't be, but I need more length. I'm just going to continue this braid. Now I guess we have some hair to work with that'll be longer. Oh geez, I didn't open this jar with all my, <laughs> I didn't open the jar with all this stuff in it. Okay, this looks like scraggly and awful. Maybe I have to leave all that down. I'm gonna have to curl it so it doesn't look weird, but 
hopefully that'll fix it. Pinterest versus reality. <laughs> just dropped a bunch of them okay okay so some of my hair is shorter as you can see and that's what makes this next step a little bit difficult because um I just don't have very thick hair so I like to pull these out but I have to be careful because a lot of my hair is much shorter and I don't want it to stick out like that one is. So you kind of pull this and fan it out. And this is gonna be a lot easier if you have thick hair. I just don't, hence the reason why I have hand tight extensions. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this all the way down. Okay, that's about as like big and fanned out as I can make mine without pulling my hair out. So personally, I would have left that in there because it just looks like I did it on accident maybe, like just one of them. Or I would pull, maybe, maybe I'd pull one of these out if I, uh, if I wouldn't mess up the whole thing. So I'm going to tease the back of my hair. I'm gonna use um, Color Wow's Style on Steroids Performance Enhancing Texture Finishing Spray. Um, this is gonna give me a little bit of body in here and a little bit of this goes a long way. So don't get crazy. With having thin hair, teasing is our best friend. Oh my gosh, I wish I had put that in there. And I didn't bring any bobby pins, otherwise I could probably hide it, but it is what it is. Okay, and she's got a bit more curls going on. So I'm gonna add some in here. Just gonna go ahead and say this is inspired by the photo because she and I obviously have like totally different hair situations going on. There is our first little hair situation. This looks stupid as hell. That needs, that I, if I could redo this, I would put it in here. I mean, I don't know what the other side of her hair looks like either. So, I mean, overall, if this guy wasn't here, I think this is cute. I'd probably work on fanning this out a little bit better, but let's go ahead and move on to the other hairstyles and see what we're gonna do next. All right, next we've got this. Now, this one is more difficult for people with hand tight extensions or extensions in general because you are taking the hair up here that is covering what you have on the sides. So I think this one needs to be carefully executed. And because I have not much hair on the top, I typically have to, I have thinner hair, I typically have to like really mess with it to try and get any semblance of a little bun up here. So because I need a lot of the hair in the back for covering up extensions and just like volume in general, I'm going to, and I need to cover the side, I tend to like to, instead of going straight back and pulling all of this hair, I like to do it at an angle from here, like towards the center of my head on both sides so that I'm just giving the illusion that I took a bunch of the hair on the top of my head, but I've really not. <laughs> um, so, and I'll usually leave as much of this back here as possible because like I said, I need the volume. I need to cover the extensions back there. So I'm gonna leave that one and then I'm going to do this. That leaves me enough, like I could even take more actually because my extensions are all the way down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more. It looks like she has left like a center part a bit. So I'm gonna do that. I wish I had some alligator clips. They are in the other room. I'm going to, we still have that texturizing stuff in here. So that's good. I'm like kind of getting these going and Trying to keep that part there. I'm gonna take my 
little guy. Now, look how much hair I have. That's how much hair I have to make look like a little messy bun. So, usually I just do a quick messy guy like that. And then I usually use like little pins and stuff to like kind of clip this where I want it. But what I'm gonna do right now, cause that looks like total garbage is, so we've got our little part still. I can't believe I forgot my little clips. Usually that's what I do this with because she obviously has a lot more hair than me. But I would typically clip this in the back with my little clips and do that. So I'm gonna have to try and do this with what I brought. Okay, we're gonna, if I would enforce this with some clips, honestly, but that's as good as it's gonna get today since I didn't bring those clips. I would say that this one worked pretty well. That is a tape and extension right there. We have to try to cover it as best as possible. And then I'm gonna tease this so that none of the extensions are showing. Again, this is like a time where I could totally um, use like a clip and extension and put it kind of under here before I do that. It has to be thin, but I could definitely do that to give myself more volume to play with with the bun because that's one struggle that I always have with thin hair is that I just don't really ever have the um the uh the hair geez that turned out terrible i don't really ever have the amount of hair that i want for like a bun so it's something that i pretty much always struggle with whoa settle down that is the perfect curl for this hold it down i've been loving curling my hair with um straight irons lately I used to not do it because I always had really crappy straight irons that see, sometimes it just doesn't work out for me. I could have tried it again. <laughs> um, but typically I use a curling iron and then I saw a hairstylist do my hair. See, sometimes like they look, it looks absolutely terrible. You have to get it around the first one. Um, but I saw a hairstylist use one of these on me and I noticed that my curls stayed in for days on end in comparison to a, um, a uh, curling iron. So ever since then, for the past like few weeks, I'm gonna have to sort this one out. This one's not behaving. Ever since then, um, for the past few weeks, I've been using a flat iron to curl my hair. So um, I can show you guys how I do that in a separate video, but I'm still, trying to master it myself, as you can see. So, um, cause I don't know what the next hairstyle is that we're gonna do yet. I'm just gonna do a few more of these and then call it a day. Okay. So I think that one actually worked out pretty good. Um, I need some clip and extensions, I think, so that I can get some better styles going on. Like for the top, and stuff, but like, this is, this is super cute. I like this, I would wear this out. I don't know if Nick likes the top bun situation, but I think it's cute. All right, so this next one is interesting. I'm gonna leave the front down and we're gonna do this. This girl has a lot of really cool, her name's Jamie L. Vandenberg and I just started following her on Instagram. She has a lot of really good um, hair tutorials on Pinterest and I've pinned quite a few. So this is one of hers. Basically you're putting this in three sections. So this back is going in a little pony, um, a little clear one, and then there's two side ones. So I am going to just feel and go down and grab the center. I don't think this is necessarily like an exact science, but I'll show you. Um, obviously you want to get the back of your head like looking right before you do this. So let's take a look. Okay. This is a lot easier in a bathroom. <laughs> okay. What is going on right there? What is happening? I think I need to straighten this. I feel like slept on it weird. I have like not looked at the back of my head today, guys. Also, it's really dirty. So, okay. So. It looks like she kind of does it at the nape of her neck, like 
That's where she places the hair tie, so that's what we're gonna do. She makes this look so freaking easy. One more. Okay, so <laughs> we've got the three here. Let me straddle this chair and see if I can do this. So each of these, it feels, it seems like she finds the middle, flips it through, does it to this one. And this one, let me see, I need to look at this while I do this. Okay, so then the middle one goes through here. Then this side one goes through the middle one on that side. And then that is supposedly the whole hairstyle. How did we do? How does it look? I can't really see, but I see a little bit of a mess right here. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. It's actually like really cute. It's just that I have some very dark roots right here and some very short hairs. So I would probably pin those in if I had brought some pins, but that's, I don't know, that's like, it's kind of cute, but I feel like I did something wrong. Why does it look like this? <laughs> okay, so I like looked at that in the bathroom over and over and over again. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And I did it all right. I think it's just that my hair really needs to be done. And so my roots are like super obvious, but I'm just gonna curl a few of these guys to show you what it looks like. I don't know if I would attempt this one again. I'm kind of like, like it looks really good on her, but like, I don't, I don't know if I really care for this. I don't know about this one guys. I don't know. Next we have this little ponytail situation where she wraps her hair up into like a scarf and it just looks really cute. I don't see this one going well for me. Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're gonna start by getting my hair up in a ponytail. Sometimes this in and of itself can be challenging with extensions because depending on how much hair you have on the side, you have extensions showing. So I find it, see right here, I find it difficult to do it a lot of days and sometimes I just give up, but let's try this out today. This one is by Miss Jamie L. Vandenberg again. So I don't really have a super long scarf that she, like she has in this one. So we're gonna make do, but it looks like she does this, pushes this up a bit, and then, okay, it looks like she kind of just wraps it up in here and twists this down. Okay, wait, now we have a hole there. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, it's hard to tell what she does with this hair right here in the beginning, but I'm just going to tuck it in as best as possible. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. It says easy hairstyles on her thing. This. I don't consider easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and... Okay, 
Okay, and then she ties it in the back. This does not look good on my hair. Okay, these are totally uneven. Okay, this could look good with a little bit of finessing and practice maybe. Let's see, what does this even look like back there? Okay, well, it's not horrible. Like, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, folks. Definitely needs a little bit of finessing and I need to get these even. Maybe like, you know, I like this could be cute. This could be cute, but um, this is showing through a lot right here. So I think this one needs a little bit of practice, but I think it's safe to say that you could do this one with hand tides as long as your hand tides are placed in your hair at the right area so you're not seeing them and you can see a little bit of my tape ends right there. But I would still like wear that out. That wouldn't stop me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is cute, but definitely I need to practice this one a little bit. That is it for today, folks. I would love to do this again, maybe with clean hair. I think that might be a good idea. If you guys have any links to any hair tutorials that you'd like to see kind of recreated on my channel, let's see if we can do it with hand tides or just in general hair tutorials, leave them in the comments below and I'll check those out and I'll keep like a little stash of them and do this again because this was fun. I just think that I need to do this with clean hair and maybe straight hair too so we can curl it as we go if the styles require it. I'm like about to go to Ulta Beauty right now so I'm trying to like not look totally ridiculous. Okay. Well, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video.